Hospitals in China are ramping up their capabilities to cope with a seemingly never-ending surge in COVID-19 patients. There are fears the caseload could shoot up during the Chinese New Year holiday next month. And millions of workers are expected to travel from cities back to their rural hometowns. The lifting of restrictions this month has seen millions getting infected every day. The country's healthcare system is overwhelmed. China reported one new COVID death yesterday, but foreign governments and experts continue to cast doubt over the official statistics. Global alarm has been growing over the country's coronavirus surge, with many nations imposing new rules for travellers coming from China. Olivia Xiong joins us live from Beijing with more. Uh, Oli, amid these reports of overwhelmed hospitals and clinics across uh, China, what's being done to help them cope with the rapid increase in patients? Well, you know, health authorities are saying that with more movement of people as China looks to resume uh, inbound and outbound travel, re moving those quarantine requirements for those coming into China. Uh, more people moving about means more transmission, whether or not it's COVID-19 or other viruses. But they say that this is something that they had taken into consideration. And they maintain that even with the current surge in infections, that there is still a redundancy in their medical resources. And overall, as a whole, it says that uh, the system has not reached a level of tension, they say. Uh, they also also acknowledge, though, that there is a strain in some areas, and they say that the reason for this is because different parts of China are going through different rates of transmission, different stages uh, at the moment, and those areas that are seeing a strain in its hospitals and the health system are those that are seeing a peak in infections. But they maintain uh, that China, the authorities have moved to respond to this by stepping up the setting up of fever clinics, adding ICU beds, also stepping up the production of medicine and other drugs as well. Um, but the concern remains not just here domestically, but overseas as well, as we have seen countries in the the, in the following the announcement that China is to reopen its borders, uh, more countries like the U.S., Japan, India, uh, Italy, announcing that there will be these testing requirements for travelers coming in from China. But the foreign ministry here in Beijing has responded. It says that this is going to uh, disrupt and prevent normal exchanges among people, and they hope that countries can have uh, make their decisions based on science. Now, China's also been uh, grappling with some fire over its uh, COVID data, which has been non-existent or, or rather opaque. Have authorities since uh, been able to clarify how they're handling that? There have been many questions about the data that China is releasing uh, given this latest surge in infections, particularly with uh, the death toll. And this is a question that I had asked uh, Chinese officials at a briefing a short while ago. There have been questions about how China classifies its COVID deaths, given that it only counts a COVID fatality if someone had died of pneumonia or respiratory failure, which health experts say is a rather narrow definition. And this could be to an underreporting of COVID deaths in the country. But in response to this, uh, officials maintain that China has been transparent, and this is the definition that it has used since the start of the pandemic. Although uh, they did acknowledge that there are challenges when it comes to classifying COVID deaths, but they said that they do have a team that is looking into analyzing data of so-called excess deaths. And that is looking into the number of extra deaths that have taken place during this pandemic period above and beyond what we would normally see during a non-pandemic period. They said that this is data that could help address some of the underreporting and will be released in time to come. But the focus now, they say, remains on treating uh, patients and preventing severe cases and COVID deaths. I also asked whether China had opened up too quickly, and this is what uh, the health officials had to say. So it's a kind of change. 它不是完全的放任不管
。所以这次的调整，说快的问题，慢的问题，我想，呃，历史会证明这一点的。我们认为，现在的调整是恰当的，是科学的，也是依法的，也是符合中国的防控实际的。Now this comes as Mr. Liang maintained that、uh, China's changes to a zero COVID policy was based on balancing three factors. One is the characteristics of the virus, how harmful it is, the immunity of the population, as well as the social considerations as well. But all this comes as we are hearing continued reports of hospitals being overwhelmed and mortuaries being overwhelmed as well. I have spoken to people who say that they know of. Others who have died from COVID-19 but have not、uh, been included in that death count. So it still remains to be seen what happens from here as China continues to push forward with its relaxation、uh, measures、uh, in the time in the days to come. Olivia Xiong. Reporting live to us from Beijing. Thank you so much. Now, because of those updates,、uh, Olivia was talking about、uh, top. Health officials from the European Union are holding urgent talks as they seek to coordinate differing views towards the abrupt lifting of COVID-19 restrictions in China. The scale of the outbreak and doubts over official data there have prompted several countries to impose new travel rules on Chinese visitors. Italy is the only EU member so far to have started testing arrivals from China. Italian Deputy Prime Minister Matteo Salvini says his country cannot be the only EU nation to do so. One Italian airport found that on the 26th of December, almost half the passengers arriving from Beijing and Shanghai were infected. But some EU members, such as Germany, see no need for new border controls. Health experts say the situation is still under control for now, and that there are no signs of new variants in China. Austria has also stressed the economic benefits of Chinese tourists returning to the region.